What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're here to explore this absolutely humongous, amazing abandoned mansion. The place is nicknamed Villa Mint. You'll see why when we get inside and it just looks absolutely amazing. We're going to be doing paranormal. I've never done this in a different country before so I have no idea how this will go. Fingers crossed it'll go well. What a place this is. Can't wait to get inside and show you all. All I can hear is crickets in the background. Should be a good one. Hopefully if we get some vibes, we pick up something interesting. It'll be a good investigation. This is how I've got to get in though, guys. All the doors are locked, so this is my way in. I have to climb up there and in through that window. So look at this place though. So whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna to have to put the camera away, guys, because I don't wanna fall and die and be one of the spirits that somebody comes to talk to one day. So um, I will see you up there. Hope you enjoy it. Should be a good one. Let's get it. Okay guys, we are in the villa now. This place is absolutely huge, four stories. You can see all the archways here on the outside, all the brickwork, absolutely stunning. But look at this guys. You head into this main hall and check this out. This is absolutely breathtaking. Nickname is Villa Mint just for this room. But check this out, look at all these carvings, this architecture, absolutely stunning. You can see the uh, armor there, obviously from the gladiators and Roman soldiers. But look at this, every little bit is covered in fine detail. It mirrors itself on that side there. It's a shame you can see people have been in and graffitied the place. Look at this though, guys. Have you ever seen anything like it? You can see all the balcony around the top there. Original stone flooring. We will have another proper look when we get up to the top because there's all cherubs in the artwork and everything there. Wow. And this is just the first room that we've seen. We are going to check this place out guys, see if it's haunted as well. These old 17th, 18th century buildings bound to have some activity. I've never done a paranormal abroad before. So we'll just see how that goes, we'll just play it out as it happens. But check these rooms. Architecture is absolutely beautiful. Who's this fella? Anyone know who that is? Let me know in the comments there. Oh, leaves are blowing, freaking me out already. It is vibes in this place. Look at this uh, lady there, she doesn't look too happy looking over the place. But look at the shutters, absolutely amazing. All the cobwebs and decay in some of the rooms. See just a lampshade hanging down there. Thick cobwebs coming off it. What a place. But like I said, this place is absolutely massive. All I can hear outside is the crickets because we're out in the country. But check out these rooms. Magnificent. All the fine details. You say in the shutters on the windows, you can see nature coming through in the, the ivy and that there. It does have a proper eerie feel though. 
even though it's like daytime. But you could see from outside this place was absolutely amazing. We're just gonna have a look around, make sure the place is safe, check out all the architecture, and then we're gonna, I think we're gonna get the K2 on the go, and then we're gonna do a necrophonic, which I don't know how that's gonna play out in Italy, but I have seen it work for other people, so I don't see why it can't work for us too, in our locations. But you can see the high ceilings, classic, old style buildings, Chandelier still hanging in here. Look at this. But you've got the big high doorways, the shutter doors, like saloon door type. But like I was saying, you come into some rooms and it's just vibes <laughs> completely. This is a well known spot in Italy. I'm not sure if anyone else has ever done a paranormal here though. Oh my god, look at the size of these spiders. All fall up on uh, pepperonis, aren't they? Wow, they're massive. They're actually terrifying. They're full on tarantulas. Let's push forward though, and see what else we can come across. Let's head upstairs. Let's see what we've got up there. These big daunting staircases, all old stone. You've got pillars coming up in here. Look at these. The archways at the top too, but I suppose we'll get a better look of uh, the mint room as well. From at the top we should be able to get some of the details on the artwork and stuff like that. But it just feels so big and empty obviously. I think that's what's adding to the vibes. But look at this, imagine just cutting about here across your balcony looking out onto all your land. Here we go. The mint room again. Second floor. This is just, this is just insane. Like I was saying, all the fine details. Let's see if we can check this lady out here. There, just chilling. Been here for a few hundred years, watching over the property. Same again on that side. Wow. You don't get them like this in the UK, definitely. If you do, they do not last long. Just love the old doorways. It's so hot in here too. Wow. Check this out. Couple of cherubs there. Anyone getting vertigo looking up? But look at this. Absolutely amazing. Like I said, there is graffiti damage. Bathroom's not in bad nick. Check that out. Nice tiling. Shower there. Lovely stuff. Oh, I don't want to touch the cobwebs. Not with them uh, absolute monstrosities hanging from them. The size of the spiders. Ridiculous. Uh, let's check this balcony though. Look at the view off here now. Because we're at the top of a hill as well. You can literally look out and see all of... I think Milan is in one of these directions. But look at this. You know, sometimes we talk about views from properties. I think this could be my favourite. See the cages on the doors as well. Let me know what you're thinking of the place, guys, in the comments. I think it's absolutely beautiful. All these ceilings, the old original flooring, three, four hundred years old there. It's just absolutely amazing, isn't it, to be fair? Can't wait to get the uh, equipment on the go. These doors have been blocked off there, look at that. And see what we can come up with. See if we can get our first Italian spirits coming through. Look at this. Wow. 
like I said, it is another story as well. We can head up one more time, have a quick look around, and then we'll get the equipment on the go. Get the K2 and Necrophonic. I'm sweating, it's so hot here. I'm absolutely loving it though. Let's head up. Uh, the vibes start changing here now. It does get awfully creepy. See all the cobwebs hanging. It's not as grand up here, but it is uh, absolute vibes, which we love on this channel. So if you're into uh, creepy explorers and paranormal investigations, Remember to stick around, look at the lights coming through, adding such a nice vibe. You can get lost in these places though, because they're so big. All right. Oh, what is this? There's the world's smallest bath. I love a bath, guys, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> He's having a bath in there. That's crazy. No cobwebs up the windows. Ooh. Right. I think we have just got a couple more rooms to check out. Then we'll get the K2 going. We're gonna, we're gonna find something I can tell. Soaking up the atmosphere here in, in northern Italy. It just feels so haunting. Just hear crickets outside. Oh, we've got a ladder here. Up to a secret room. We will be checking that out. We've got lifts as well. Those terrifying things that always lead to ghosts. But check out down these stairs here. Right. Okay guys, so quick look around just to make sure it's safe make sure that we are alone here and then um, it's time to get the equipment out definitely Okay guys, so change of plan. I'm not going to use the K2 in here. I am going to use the SLS Ghost Tube app and see if we can pick anything up. We are still on the second floor. We are going to investigate now. So uh, hopefully we can pick up some figures. And then if we can, we'll use the Necrophonic in those rooms. So let's do this. Out on this balcony now. We are going to try and see if we can pick anything up. It will be very, very interesting if we can. Maybe in this, uh, in the mint room. Fingers crossed. It would be interesting. If there's any spirits in this palace, do you want to come forward and show yourself on the camera? on the device. Mm. Is there any spirits that would like to make themselves known? Can you show yourself? Just come say hello. Don't mean to do you any harm at all, we are just here to see if we can make any contact or say hello. Just see that you're here. Uh, over on the balcony where we just were a minute ago, just picking something up by the banister. Interesting. Is the owner of this 
amazing house still here. Right, just in the room, this room here, just pick something up. It's picking up that graffiti there. It will pick up any shapes like uh, human like. So we need to watch out for that. Is there any spirits you want to step forward? Make yourself known? Don't mean to do any harm whatsoever. We are just here to say hello, have a look around this amazing place. Head out onto the balcony. Nothing so far really, just a bit of a flicker in, uh, in the mint room. Maybe that's why we should do the necrophonic to begin with. Oh, what was that? Just pick something up through here. Is anyone in this room? Do you want to make yourself known? Would you like to show yourself? Just step in. What was that? Just step in front of me. Camera should be able to pick it up. Right, we're back where we picked up that figure. If there's anyone in this house, would you like to make yourself known? If there's anyone here, would you like to step forward? I'm not really getting much so far, guys. Let's maybe head down to the older rooms, see if we can get anything there. How amazing is this place though guys? Like I was saying, it is absolute vibes. I'm loving it. I think it's a beautiful old home. Hopefully we can get something on camera. Let's start again down there. Is there any spirits? Would you like to make yourself known? Would you like to step forward in front of me? Something. Just hit steps or something from this direction. Back in the mid room. Absolutely amazing place. Any spirits you want to step forward? Let me know that you're here. Strange. Heard something. Could have been wind or anything like that. Not sure. Not really getting anything on here. So probably leave that one there. Not really getting much. Um, but I think we should do a little necrophonic session. Hopefully we can pick something up with that. Okay guys, so first time using this in a different country that speak different languages. No idea how this is going to come across. Don't know what's going to happen, not used it before. But I have seen other investigators and it has come across in English. Don't know how, but we'll see how it goes. So uh, let's begin. Is there any spirits in this room? You want to make yourself known? We believe that there was a woman that once lived here and died here. I 
I'm getting a woman's voice. I haven't really picked up any English yet though, which is interesting. Is there anyone that would like to say hello? Make yourself known. Just speak to me through this device. The lady of the house, if you're still here, would you like to say hello? It's pretty quiet, guys. There is a few voices coming through, though. Can you tell me how you passed away here? There's a woman whispering there. Do you hear that? Can you let me know clearer how you how you passed away? Can you tell me how many spirits are still in this house? That woman's voice is coming through quite a lot. Can you make yourself known? Can you make a noise, a bang, shut a door? Guys, there is a woman's voice coming through. So we shall have a little walk around and see what we can get. Is the female of the house, are you still here? Are you trapped here? Did you say help? Do you need help? You need help to leave? To move on? Can you tell me how many spirits are in this house right now? Seven. Can you make yourself known? One of the spirits that are here. Can you show yourself? Bang the door. Oh my God, that's quite scary. Just letting them talk as well, guys. Just not so I'm interrupting all the time. Can you tell me how you passed away in here? Pushed, I think that's so. Is there any male spirits stuck in this house? Dead. Is there any evil spirits here? Like I said, I am just letting them talk as well, guys. There is some voices coming through. Is there any children? I read that there was children that lived here. Right on cue, little girls. I read that somebody fell from the balcony, is that true? Wow, that pushed before as well. Are you shy? Would you like us to leave? Would you like to leave you in peace? No, no. Well, I can't stay forever. Got other places to investigate, other spirits to speak to. I've seen a shadow in that window then. A lot of voices coming through, guys. Hopefully, we can pick some of that up and edit in. I am just letting them speak. I don't want to interrupt all the time. 
Can any of the children come through and just let themselves be known? Are you in the room with me right now? Yes. Right, I am going to leave because I have got other things to do. Is that okay? Right. We're going to leave this here. Thank you for letting us look around your home. And we'll see you. I don't know what you say to a ghost at the end. What do you say? But anyway guys, what an amazing place this is. Absolutely beautiful. The Villa Mint here in Italy. We did get some responses through the Necrophonic. There was a couple on the SLS, but I'm not 100%. That could have just been picking up figures from around the home. Um, but look at this place, absolutely amazing. Details, original floorings, the archway is absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I am on to the next one now. We've got a lot to do whilst we're here in Italy. Check, make sure you're following Patreon for all updates. And um, we'll see you next week, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Very interesting place. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.